We've come to Northern Arizona to Gunsight to take a look at what's new from CZ. Pistols, rifles, shotguns, it's all new. Whew, that is too much fun. A gun that's almost too pretty to shoot. This is a CZ 457 and obviously in left-handed. So this is not a toy uh, 22 bolt gun. This is kind of the your, your, when you want to step up in your 22 bolt guns, okay? Now, available in left-handed now, they do have them for 22 LR, 22 mag. You can get a 17 HMR barrel. Um, they also have it for youth models, smaller setup, all the way up to competition models. This is Turkish walnut. I really like the darker look on this. It's just gorgeous. 60 degree bolt throw on this, which will make you be able to run the gun a little bit faster and also give you flexibility so it's not gonna be bumping into your optic depending on what type of optic you're running. Now, detachable magazines, five round, 10 round, and 25 round magazines. Comes with a five round magazine, but I like that. They've been running great. You know, reliability is always a concern or, or sometimes an issue for 22 bolt guns. This one has been running great. It also, when you were talking about really stepping up to something nice, it's an adjustable trigger. It's factory set at 2.7 pounds, but it's adjustable from 1.8 all the way up to 3.3 pounds. The CZ457, now in left-handed. All right, guys, welcome. Once again, David Miller with CZ USA, talking to you today about the 712 G3. Now, this gun has uh, kind of been a long time in the making. We've, we are, this is our third version of this model. When I first started with the company, we had the version one, and we went to version two, and now this has got a lot of upgrades over the two. What's special about it is the fact that it has a lot of cool features with a very affordable price tag, okay? It's very easy to operate, even with the gloved hand. If I have my gloves on, I can still manipulate the controls easy. The bolt release is very easy to push. The bolt handles are hourglass shaped. The bolt lock is very easy to operate as well. The safety, cross bolt safety is a little oversized, clearly marked red. You can see when the fire, it's in fire. And it's on the front side of the trigger guard. So if you're a lefty, and you're shooting a conventional cross bolt safety that's back here, guess where your finger's touching? You're on the safety. You go bang, uh, nothing, right? You could, you could interrupt your shot because you press the safety on, especially if you're wearing a glove. This gun, you will not have that trouble because it's up in the front. I'm a target shooter. I spend a lot of time shooting clays. I want my gun to fit right. Well, this gun comes with a series of shims. This is up and down, one or 2%. That's what these two, these four do. So I can take the, the heel of the gun, which the toe follows, up 2% or one, or down from the standard that comes in the gun. In addition to that, it's designed to shoot a wide variety of shotgun shells. So to have one gun run it, you need, we need two pistons. So we have the standard medium piston is in the gun. Then we have this one that's designed for heavy loads. This is for like 1350 ounce and a quarter and up. So you gotta bleed off a lot of gas. The piston that's in the gun has a lot more rings to capture the gas. The barrel lug, let me just pull this off here, is oversized from the G2 to this G3, which I didn't talk about, but it captures more gas in here, okay? It will cycle light loads. And we're gonna do a quick experiment shooting some one ounce 1180, which is super light, you know, up to 1300 foot, seven, eight, uh, seven and a half shot, um, ounce and an eighth. So like a super sporting load. It's the highest power factor load you can shoot clay targets with in any discipline. And you'll see the ejection difference. The, ounce and, the one ounce 1180 is gonna come outside the gun to go this far, and that 1300 foot's gonna go over the thrower. Bolt speed, right? That's what it's about. If we were shooting heavy pheasant loads with this same piston, they'd go really far. You take that out and you put this piston in, 1,500 feet becomes more normal ejection 
So you're just bleeding off gas and using it. And the cool thing is when you're shooting heavy loads with that piston, it feels like you're shooting a 1300 foot ounce and eighth load because you're letting, letting go what you don't need. You're bleeding it off. Pretty slick. So Dave, it'll, it'll run heavy loads and light loads with the piston that it comes with. But if you're gonna shoot a bunch of waterfowl loads, you could switch over to the heavy. Yeah, anything the above, what we recommend is anything above 1350 ounce on the quarter, you switch over to this piston. Okay. Yeah. Otherwise, it's too much bolt speed and it's gonna, you're gonna feel it, let alone probably not healthy for the gun either. So yeah, that is, that's what it's designed for. We wanna be optimum power, get the most out of our gun and still be able to follow up with a good shot on our second duck. CZ pistols have quickly become a favorite of many competition shooters. A great trigger and the weight that a metal gun offers helps tame recoil to shoot faster and more accurately. The TS2 Orange is hand fit in the CZ Custom Shop and you notice it the second you start manipulating the gun. A bull barrel out front adds 40% more weight. The added serrations on the top of the slide and orange accents look great as well. And the redesigned thumb rest make this gun race ready. The new CZ Custom AO1 SDOR is classic CZ meets modern shooter. The shortened dust cover for better balance, deep beaver tail, and significant undercut all combine for a great shooting gun. Of course, OR means optics, and it can run RMR or delta point pattern plates. The single action trigger pull is three to three and a half pounds. The double action is eight to eight and a half pounds. I like the TS2 grip texture and shape. The mostly straight trigger with a curved end is a nice design. Aluminum magwell, blue aluminum grips. This one is both pretty and is built for some serious shooting. You can see why CZ has developed an almost cult following. Thanks to CZ and Gunsight Academy in Arizona for hosting us.